Hello everybody, Mackerel Phones here. Before we get to our feature presentation, I thought I might explain what exactly this is. You might have noticed that the title is Mackerel Phones tries Sweet Fuse at your side, rather than plays. This will be a first of a kind of video I might occasionally make, where instead of doing a complete playthrough of the game, I just play a little bit of it. Or a whole lot of it, depending on the game. And if you think it's interesting, well, maybe you can go check it out and finish it yourself. Or on the off chance that I ever get any fans, I suppose that if they wanted, I might be able to finish the game. Anyway, uh, let's get on with this. Well, it's taken us a while to get this far, but this is the title screen. Hi everybody, this is Mackerel Phones, and I am playing Sweet Fuse at Your Side. This is a, um, uh, Otome game visual novel, which, judging by the, um, information on the bottom of the screen there, is from 2013. Oh boy. We... We are in for quite a treat today. Um... <laughs> Let's, let's just go, let's go. Um... Well, actually... What do we got here? Nothing? Yeah, that's... I don't know why I would expect there to be something. For your pleasure, here is an image that the player may see later on in the game. What else? What? No. Why would it make me press start again? That doesn't make any sense. What's a diary? Oh, jeez, I haven't even started my diary yet, and there are all these entries. God. Hey, okay, okay, let's, look, let's, let's, let's go, let's, let's stop, stop beating around the bush. Let's go. Saki Inafune. Yeah, she looks nice enough. I like her haircut. Yes. Let's go, Saki. Hmm, is it morning already? Guess I fell asleep after all. Ah, uh, shut up, alarm! Ah, uh, alarm isn't nearly as annoying as my alarm. Much better. Well, Uncle, I hope you're ready. 
My uncle is the creator of a new theme park called the Gameatorium. <laughs> He invited me to the pre-opening event, but I'd been so excited and restless I'd barely slept. Alright, Kane D. Boo, let's hope it goes well. Nice, she's a nice place. I like her heart pillow. This little guy is called Kane D. Boo, and he's the Gamatorium's mascot. My uncle gave him to me a while back. Um, hi, Kane D. Boo. You, uh, that's a pretty big diamond you have there. You trying to make a statement? He's super adorable, but more importantly, he looks like a rice ball. And rice balls are delicious. Can't, can't dispute that. I mean, it depends what's in him, though, but still. Anyway, I got out of bed as fast as I could. I had big plans for my day at the park. I wish I could bring some of my friends, but the invite said it was just for staff and their relatives. Oh well, I'm sure I can have lots of fun all by myself. I... Uh, it's something you get good at, and you, when you, a lot of us have to get good at. All right, time to get dressed. Gosh, I can't believe it's actually really finally opening. I guess he was telling the truth. My uncle is Keiji Inafune, a game creator known throughout the universe. Uh, might be, might be a bit of an overstatement there. Um, but whatever. He'd been telling me for years that his dream was to make a theme park from all of his favorite games. Saki, Oji-san wa itsuka teema park wo tsukuru. Sore mo telebi game wo daizai ni shita yatsu da. Yep. Omae mo omou da ro. Yeah, that, that sounds that sounds good, I guess. What well, I guess Keiji Inafune was involved in the making of this game. I what a beautiful day. It's not that surprising he did it, really. He's always making his dreams into reality, and video games are a pretty big deal these days. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of banking on that. Every single thing in the park is based on a popular game. Okay. This is a very artful way to avoid making us see the train. Ah, this is my stop. I sure hope nothing bad happens today. Oh, come on, Saki. That's just, that's just amateurish. That's what we call tempting fate. What we call tempting fate. Oh, there's um, Pane de Boo or whatever his name is. I know I should remember it, but... I made my way out of the busy station and walked quickly toward the park, excitement putting a spring in my step. This is it! This is the Gameatorium! Oh my god. The only people who'd been allowed in were staff members, their families, and some news crews, but even so, the place was packed. <laughs> Looks like that seat's open. Oh, why does it make you laugh? What's funny about that? We smiled at each other as I sat down in the empty seat. I could see a number of older men in suits sitting on the stage in the front. I figured they must have been the park's managers and owners. In front of the stage was a whole row of cameras. They had to belong to the press. It's really getting a lot of attention, huh? I saw a story about how the Gameatorium was about to open on TV just the other day. Oh. He has a drum roll. Yeah, he has a drum roll. It sees Saki smart, she notices these things. It sounded like things were about to start. From somewhere near the stage I could hear a band begin to play. This is it! It's finally starting! Yep, this is <laughs> Yeah, there we go, we got Keiji Inafune in front of us. Wearing a pig top hat and a giant diamond on his. Uh, what? Sure. That's him! That's my uncle! Yeah, I, I know. I almost slept up to wave at him before I caught myself. Yeah, that well, would have been embarrassing. Huh? Is something wrong with the mic? I can't hear him. 
Oh man, there's always something wrong with my mic. I, I can relate. He stepped back from the mic, confused, and tapped it a couple of times. That's, uh... That's expression as of a man with a little more on the line than a mic. I hope everything's okay. I was starting to fidget when suddenly... What? Um... Um... Yeah, I... Okay. Yeah. What is this? I could see my uncle running back and forth in confusion. Can you even, can you even picture this? Just pic, just picture this on, on, on a stage. Keiji Inafune, wearing a pig top hat. Just like s running back and forth, just panicking. Like big cartoon sweat drops just flying from his head. What the heck is going on? Who was that voice? What were they talking about? Something was wrong. Even from far away, I could see that the men in suits all looked very stiff. I turned toward where he was pointing. Wh what? Y yeah. What? A crowd of people in what looked like black unitards were running in through the entrance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I. Well, at least they. They're fabulous. Of course, that would make sense. My uncle has always been good at thinking up fun stuff, and he's got a great sense of humor. The guys in the unitards ran up to the stage and started tying up the men in business suits. I couldn't begin to guess what was going to happen next, so I just kept watching with bated breath. <laughs> The same mascot I had on my phone strap. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I wasn't sure what he'd meant by doing away with Kane Debu. Did that mean the park was going to close? Gosh, Uncle Keiji, you sure think of some weird stuff. Everyone seems stunned that the park's mascot would be done away with on the first day. Looking at how worked up the audience had gotten, I was sure my uncle was feeling pretty proud of himself. Then suddenly, smoke filled the stage and I could just barely make out something rising up from below it. Yup! What is that? A costume? It looked a little like Kane Debu, but it was... different. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh... As I'd call that different. That, uh... Is not a voice that. Uh. Yeah, that voice is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see? S S Saki is with me here. He sounds so cute and polite. It's, uh. Not, not a. You see, you see I'm, I'm liking Saki. We're, we're, we're on the save. Save way. Save. Same wave, save on the same wavelength, she and I. He performed an odd sort of self indulgent pirouette and bowed. I, I don't know what pi pirouette means, but. Oh. Huh? No sooner had he spoken than the Ferris wheel exploded in a thunderous roar of flames. We watched mouths hanging open as the symbol of the park crumbled to the ground in a cloud of smoke. I'm starting to think maybe this isn't just an act. Yeah, me too. As soon as I turned back to the stage, the entire crowd had erupted in panic. The screams of frightened people quickly drowned out the fading rumble of the Ferris wheel's collapse. And some music did too. 
What? This pig isn't done yet? No, forget about him. I have to save Uncle Keiji. I fought my way through hundreds of terrified attendees toward the stage. Even as I did, Count Hogstein continued his stupid speech. W what? Blow up the park? Oh yeah, he already established that's what he's doing. What the hell are you talking about? Taking my uncle and the park staff hostage isn't a game, you jerk! Also, there's some pretty hardcore uh, jams we got going here. This park is my uncle's dream, and there were so many people looking forward to enjoying it. What should I do? R right Hey, hold on! Everybody else was trying desperately to escape, but I raised my hand high in the air. Count Hogstein frowned. I'll take your challenge! I don't really know what his game is, and if I'm being honest, this is pretty scary, but... Thanks to Uncle Keiji, I've gotten pretty good at figuring out game logic. Count Hogstein stared at me for a moment, then snorted. I, I know what I'm doing. No, no, I don't. I stole a quick glance at my uncle, tied up and gagged. He looked worried. I gave him the slightest of nods, careful not to let Count Hogstein notice. I can't let this park get blown up by that creep. I'll solve his stupid puzzles and I'll save my uncle. Well, there's our game, folks. Oh. Okay. You know, it's, it's, it's a kind of appropriate uh, that Saki has that, um, like, bomb thing emblem on her sweater. Or on her, on her hoodie, I mean. Because, you know, it's a bomb threat. I mean, it's not really that appropriate. It's kind of, it's kind of horrible, actually, but, you know. Can I, like, save here? No? Okay. Okay, what did I expect? Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what? What, 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 wait, he is an evil, he is an evil castle? He just, what, oh, well, okay. Well, they told all the participants to come to this plaza, so here I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're here, yeah. Oh, and I guess these are, I see six other people. Count Hogstein had mentioned seven heroes, which means the other six people there were probably the other participants. That voice! It's him! Oh. Uh, that one, that one is my favorite, because, um, probably because he looks like a girl, and that voice isn't really appropriate, but whatever. しかし、声はそれとも姿が見えませんね。一体どこか。あそこだ。あの像の裏から声が聞こえる。Statue? Oh, I see it! The statue has just been right in front of us this whole time, yeah. That one. That statue. There's a TV on its back that's showing Count Hogstein. But this statue is... You have, uh... You have a lot of belts. This guy has a lot of belts. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. At least Saki agrees. Oh, 
Well, at least he realizes he's the antagonist. Yeah, he, see, he, he's honest about it. Count Hogstein, he knows he's, he knows he's the villain. He's the bad guy here. He understands all this, and this all... Oh, it all fits together. All See, Saki, Saki she's a perceptive one. I, I like her. She also has a nice haircut. Keep having that like. Oh, sorry. I keep having that like nah, 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 noise. I guess that's Count Hogstein's theme music. <laughs> and now he's gone. So um, there's a. Um, there's, there's something... He has a crystal ball. It's, it's just... Is he like... Is, is it le I th it's levitating in, in the air in front of him, I think. Does he just carry that? He just carries a crystal ball with him. But... Sure. Well... <laughs> Okay. I, I bet your hair, your name is Harry, is crazy hair, orange sunglasses, man. Eh, pretty, pretty close. And your name is probably Belty. What's a detective doing at an amusement park? Saki! What, I, I, I mean, there's like a terrorist attack on this park. Like, what, of course there's a detective. I mean, well, what I really expect to be here is like the military. But I... T I, I, look, I tell her, Saki, you know, we get along pretty well, but occasionally, occasionally, she does this sort of thing. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Wait. No, no! He, you're t what do you mean there's no way he's off-duty dressed like that? You, t you I mean, does he, you telling me he, like, goes to work with his hair like that? Wearing orange sunglasses with the... With a with a cross tie, with uh, oh, I mean, what do I, what do I know? I don't know much about Japanese police force. Yeah, that's how they all dress. Oh. I'm just kidding. It's not how they all dress. That's false. Oi, oi. So that's what? 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 Glaring. I guess he's not the good cop. Yeah, if he were a good cop, he wouldn't let this happen. But he let those terrorists right on in here, even though they're very conspicuously dressed in those black unitards. Or leotards, I mean. I forget which they were, I'm sorry. Kimimaru,、まあまあ、yeah. Well, that's a nice change of pace. He seems like he's pretty nice, if a little weird. And he really does look like a fortune teller. Yeah. He do yeah, there's just something about him. I'm not sure what. Belty! Did he not hear? Um, I think it's your turn. What's your name? Huh. I guess he doesn't talk much. Yeah. But this kid... I feel like I've seen his face somewhere before. Yeah, in the opening. Yeah. 
申し訳ありません私も世俗には少々疎くてテレビに興味がない<笑>ああ見たような気はするんだが悪いなこの先必要ないと判断した知識は頭から抜けちまうんだ嘘でしょ一人もうわショック少年時代ジュニア知らないの<笑>一応今日のイベントにもゲストで招かれてた芸能人なんだけどな Of course I remember The Junior Junior Boys was a boy band that was super popular mostly with girls All the members were really cute and a bunch of my classmates were fans Oh well, that's why it looks like a girl Eh, boy bands aren't really my thing, you know? That explains why I look familiar, though. Just, since she doesn't like boy bands either. I, I, I tell you, I like this Saki girl. She has, she's got a nice hoodie, nice haircut. She's, she's got a good brain in between her ears. I, I don't think that's really a concern of people in boy bands, but whatever. Wakasa, eh? I think that old guy's comment might have made things a bit awkward here, but this kid's definitely got the face of a star. And of a girl. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Yeah, that's... took the words right out of my mouth. No. Ginza no Yuri Shiz at the Mise de Number One of Hatter. <laughs> he doesn't really look like an escort, but the way he talks. Yeah, that's. That's not the thing I would have thought he was. And here we have the snarky scar having man. Well, the to complete the group, this one will probably be like like a taxidermist or or something like that. You know, some something really weird and we we never expect. Oh, さて、最後はあなたですね。こんな得体の知れないゲームに自ら参加した。S suspicious. I'm Saki Inafune. I'm a high school student. Yosuashitaga.本当に高校生だよ。ただの学生がどうしてこんなゲームに立候補なんてしたんだ。Here. Your foot, your your mouth kind of went a little crazy there for a sec. Also, your hair is pink. To stop the bombs, of course, and to rescue the hostages. After I spoke, they all fell silent. Seriously, whack yo. つうか悪どぶのやろうはどうしたんだよ。この像を蹴飛ばしはまた出てくるか。おい。あれを魚ですりような行動は慎め。人質の安否が不明なうちは無闇に動くな。See, <笑> I'm gonna I'm gonna take that man is like, you know, the is a meaning human of course. 
私の水晶で占ってみますか悪いが俺は非科学的なものは信じない That's probably best. そうですかそれは残念です、はあ、早く帰りたい座りたい This is disappointing None of these guys really feel like hero material But I guess none of them chose to be here so I can't really blame them for being upset. I'm just worried about whether or not we can pull this off. You just. Oh, okay. Oh, he's back. Oh. So sorry for cutting you off. I hadn't noticed until that moment that one of the people in the black unitards had appeared next to us. There was no question that he was the piglet. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh huh. This is pretty much. Count Hogstein's a bona fide supervillain. ここでいやいいだろう。まあまあ見たらしさ。状況が状況ですし、今は彼の言う通り。なんだと。それはどういう意味だ。just means what? With no closing but patient mark? Okay. とりあえず従った方がいいんじゃないここでぼーっとしててもすすまなそうだしさそうだなまずはタワーの中に入ろう情報は足で稼げってな I, well, I mean, I've never heard that phrase, but maybe they do. I don't know. But, just what kind of game is he going to make us play? Yeah, you know, if they want, I wanted an Otome game, and I got Saw. Typical, honestly, typical. We followed the piglet inside the castle Count Hogstein had indicated. Nice and classy place. It wasn't long before it opened up into a magnificent room that looked like a banquet hall from a period drama. Might be, but it's too soon to tell. You see, in a visual novel like this, rather than show us that kind of thing, they have to um, explain it with uh, words. So that's how you do that. This is an, an example of that. The box looked like it was about twice as tall as the piglet standing at attention next to it. What was in there? This didn't feel good. Oi. Rule of explaining is not enough. Everyone has one day to give up. Give up and give up. That's the rule. Then, the Okay, that's that's kind of creepy. Hmm. Next rule is. 
たり前のことですが危険に巻き込まれても自己責任だということ後で腹子もついてもらいますからね An odd precaution for a terrorist, but uh. Yeah, something like that. Oh. <laughs> I think he actually looks less intimidating when he's angry. What a jerk. Ugh. What, why, why did she just say Ugh? <laughs> oh no! As soon as he'd finished talking, Count Hogstein began to laugh, his stomach jiggling obscenely. How can he laugh about killing people? He's awful! I frowned, trying to think of something to say when... Chido was doing his best to hold Mitarashi back, but I wasn't sure how long he'd last. You need to calm down! If you get mad, you're just doing what he wants! That's well said, Kimimura. He swore and shook off Shido, slamming his fist into a nearby pillar. Ouch! That 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 probably hurt. With a slimy smile, he clapped his hands. At his signal, the piglets took hold of the blue cloth. It fell away from the box, revealing... Ah! <laughs> what I'd thought was a box was actually a giant cage, and inside of it was my uncle in the park management. That's <laughs> Metal ball? As I spoke, he grinned and looked up toward the ceiling. I followed his gaze. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. No! It was all too clear what Count Hogstein's message was. That's... His message was he likes bowling. It... Not really. It was what we were all thinking, even if I'd been too afraid to say it. He was so smug, I just wanted to punch him in that massive jiggly gut every time he opened his mouth. Clear 
Yeah, I was kind of wondering about this earlier, actually. I assumed. He was talking about killing people! About killing us! How could he be so, so casual? I won't let him get away with this. Everyone else was staring at the arrogant pig, probably thinking the same thing I was. Everyone, except for Wakasa. He's, um, he's becoming not my favorite anymore. He slumped to the ground, holding his head. I'd volunteered to play Hogstein's sick game, but Wakasa hadn't. None of them had. I guess they're victims, too. I felt a cold shiver run down my spine. Cold shiver is redundant. I felt a cold shiver run down my spine. There was no guarantee one of these men wouldn't try to escape. I knew my uncle, but apart from that, the hostages were complete strangers to all of us. I'm really not sure about these guys. I don't know anything about them. No, I have to trust them. We're going to be working together for seven days. If I don't trust them... I shook my head. We'd never be able to win Hogstein's games unless we trusted each other. The characters in Uncle Keiji's games always talked about how important it was to believe in other people. I leveled a glare at the pig. There was no way I was going to lose. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I know about RPGs. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not very good at them, so, so. Another piglet appeared to guide us, and we set off for the RPG attraction Hogstein had indicated. Okay, this, this, this should be good. Not really, this is a terrible situation. Before the opening, my uncle had told me that the park was divided into seven different themed areas. Each area has a main attraction that represented the theme. Yeah, that's... <laughs> uh-huh. There's, there's the castle. I glanced around as I walked, trying to compare what I was seeing to what I remembered about the park's layout. Looks like one where we're going has lots of, like, uh, cherry blossom trees. No one spoke, and our footsteps were heavy and slow. Everyone's mind was on what the pig had told us. Whatever. Right now I need to concentrate on figuring out how to beat these games. I was glaring so hard at the back of the piglet's head that I didn't hear Shido start talking. <laughs> これから行われるゲームとやらのクリアにこの七人の命がかかっているということかそんなことさっきあの豚が言っただろう一回言われればわかるってのまあ確かにそうだが今は状況を整理する必要があるそれにこのランドの詳しい情報が必要だ Uh, well, I know a little bit about it. I explained to them what I'd been thinking earlier. So, the main attraction is the RPG part of the park, uh, is probably... Bushido Fantasy VII. Oh, I guess they can't actually say Final Fantasy VII. Okay. What? <laughs> That seems like kind of a weird response, but whatever. Oh, he's like a closet gamer. Chido frowned at Mitarashi, then turned to me. Eh, uh, yeah? W what No, um, well, I'm related to someone who works for the park. Yeah, 
they were. Naruhodo. So they got in gaito. Mutual school domini. Oh, my wa on nadaterani. Kona kikena kotoni kubi o tsukonda. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wait, wait, are we just. So they were. Kyochu. Osa she tashimas. Wait, are we just are we just passing over Shido's casual sexism there? We're just gonna we're not we're not gonna, not gonna comment on that, or is that is? Well, I mean maybe he says girl like not because like he's not like oh bec you're you know you're you're a, a, a like female. I think maybe maybe he's just like oh well you're young, like like you're an adolescent. And that's 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 the point. I'm gonna go with that. Arabe squeezed my hand reassuringly and gave me a somber bow. Maybe I should have mentioned my uncle earlier. Then they might have been more willing to help me. I thanked him and let go of his hand. Phantasmagoria is a good word, don't see that very often. Is it so it's like it's like a Jedi Geki Final Fantasy. They should make that. Yeah, they should make that. Oh. Oh. Okay, I, I get it. I get, like, like, Miyoshi, I mean, he's clearly also a belt enthusiast, but Miyoshi is, um, he's like this unemployed, like, gamer nerd guy. That's what his, that's his shtick. I already figured it out. He's like a, he's one of those types. Oh, so that's why he knows about it. It, uh, maybe Saki's thinking the same thing, but we're just not we're just not getting it. I mean she probably is. I mean she she seems like seems seems like smart girl. Like I said she's a good brain between her ears. Mitarashi frowned. Huh? DLC? Wait. Mitarashi is a very mysterious man. He's all these contradictions. If a bit a minute ago he seemed to be like he was a gamer. Now he doesn't know what DLC is. The modern video game industry is DLC. So. Download the contents of the video. Yeah. Hmm. To be sure, this is the most important part of the video. The problem is, what kind of attraction is it going to be? Right. The world of the world of the world. Yeah, random encounters. Yeah, like, exactly, random encounters. See, he understands. Karabe sighed and shifted the cigarette in his... Wait, that's not a cigarette, it's... A snack? Yeah, it's, it's um, uh, Pocky. Or... Pokey. I think they're Pocky. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, so he likes sweets? Huh, I... Never would have guessed. I totally thought that was a cigarette. Well, I'm, I mean, he's like an adult male scarred reporter version of Kyoko Sakura. So nothing, nothing wrong with him. Like, that's why he likes Pocky. For some reason, I found my eyes drawn to it. It was almost hypnotic. Yeah. If all of this hadn't happened, what would Samurai Fantasy 7 have been like? I felt sad. I had a feeling Uncle Keiji did too. Probably probably more than just sad, kid. It's Samurai Fantasy 7! The game looked like one from a the gate uh oh, Miss Red. My goodness, are right, already right, off to a bad start. The gate looked like one from a European castle, but the towers that rose up behind it looked Japanese. It could have come across as cheesy and contrived, but I thought it was a nice touch. I think it's cheesy and contrived. Really? Huh? 
I turned to look. Yeah, that's not terribly surprising. It's just like the statue we'd seen in the plaza. I'm raising my hand, you can't really see it, but I am. And Kimamaro is certainly not raising his hands because they're in front of his crystal ball. Just as Wakasa began to moan, Count Hogstein appeared on the screen. <laughs> this guy's a jerk. He's, he's, I mean, he's a terrorist boss, what do you expect, but... Actually, I gotta say, I, wanna, I just wanna say, his uh, theme music reminds me of something you might hear in uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door or something. Edo is not a city. I mean, what am I? It was not a country, but it was a city. It was different. There's a difference. I mean, some I don't know, some cities are countries. You know, I'm looking at you like like Mon Montenegro. I think that's what it's called, or, or Singapore. His disgusting voice echoed through the empty air. <laughs> Very eloquently said, Wakasa. Wakasa had covered his ears and shut his eyes tight. Just looking at him made me feel a little helpless and scared. I volunteered for this. I have to face the consequences. Shido gave me a small nod. Oi, Wakasa, to. Omae no kimochi mo wakaru ga. Koko wa mo susumu shika nai. Tade, kanojo mo kijou ni furumatte iru janai ka. You know, I'm beginning to expect that Shido's shtick is that he's sexist. Also that he's, um, wears, wearing orange sunglasses. He slowly stood back up, but his face was pale and he looked ready to collapse at any moment. Um, maybe he should stay out here. Um, maybe he should stay out there. Um... Maybe he should stay out there. I don't remember there being a rule about all seven of us having to go into the attraction. Very military perspective. Yeah, if we don't all have to go in, I don't think we should. So, to not to Zain the attraction in Hyrule, no Bagabashi. He does no attraction, what only he told you of three the either. Ja, Bokoa, Kokode. But before he even finished his sentence, Hogstein's voice rang out again. Oh, he, he just didn't think of one of the rules he needed to say. That's just justifications. There was something about what he'd said that triggered new feelings of apprehension. I glanced over at the others to see them staring silently at the screen. I bet there's going to be one of those puzzles where you have to have everyone stand on a switch, and so we're going to need all seven of us. Hogstein nodded sanctimoniously. The person in black turned to us and gestured. And by gesture, I think you mean to scat hands. Ooh. Huh? It seems like he's trying to say something. Nantonaku, but I'm going to say something. 
the piglet nodded earnestly. Perhaps, perhaps the piglets have taken vows of silence. Cheeto strode off toward the castle without waiting for the rest of us to follow. I trotted along behind him, and the others slowly followed suit. I really hope we actually have some decisions soon. As we got close, the castle's gates began to grind open. That's a good point. It didn't speak, just twitched around like a worm in a frying pan. Yeah. They might be. It wouldn't be the weirdest thing going on here. I'm not sure. Was it possible Count Hogstein had forbidden them from talking? We all nodded, and each held up a watch or a cell phone, anything with a time on it. And we've got seven hours left. Oh, that's why sweet fuse, we like the bomb's metaphorical fuse. We'll do. After all, if we didn't stay alert, in seven hours we'd be dead. We walked through the gate and up to the castle. Up close, the towers looked even taller. The piglet gestured for us to go in. Inside was a long hallway that looked like a set from a period movie that we're not going to show you. I could just see a room at the end of it. Dude, we're gonna have some puzzle solving in a bit here. Yeah, I think you're right. We moved down the hallway slowly and carefully until we reached the door at the end and stepped into the room. My intonation was a little awkward a little bit. Just like the outside of the castle, the interior was also an odd mix of east and west. This particular room seemed to have a stronger European influence. Yeah, I'd have to agree. In the center was a statue of a creepy looking animal. A uh, lion, maybe? There was a large device with several panels next to the statue. Each panel had a silhouette of a person on it. The doors to the left and right had chains bolted across them. Obviously, we weren't going out that way anytime soon. This room is creepy. I sure hope we're not going to get locked in here or something. Uh, no sooner were the words out of my mouth than the door swung shut behind us. Typical. Would've happened anyway. I admit it as a joke, but suddenly being trapped in the room with that statue didn't seem so funny. Still, standing around worrying about it was only going to waste time. If we want to get out of here, then we're going to have to solve this puzzle. Every bit of time was precious. I started to look around the room. For once, I have to agree with Mitarashi. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I won't touch anything. I guess you don't get to be a police detective without being methodical. And a bit pouty, ho ho. We do need to be cautious, but Mitarashi's right too. If we don't move quickly, we're going to be in bad shape. I started moving around the room, examining things, and before the others started... Oh, wait, oh, sorry, and before long, the others, yeah. That statue and the panels next to it both seem pretty suspicious. Yeah, I, I don't know why I made a flashing silhouette on it. I mumbled to myself and walked toward the statue. Then suddenly, I heard a mechanical voice begin to speak. <laughs> Oh. Well, we're about to fight a uh, we're about to fight Nue. Hmm. Yeah, I do. 
I do think it was a hint. What's a what's a new way? He raised a hand to point at the thing in the center of the room. Oh, so a nue is an animal? I thought it was a lion or something at first, but as I looked closer, I could see that wasn't even close. Nue is the kids these days are so disconnected from their like Japanese like like roots. They'll know the folklore, or maybe even if this were like in the 19th century, they still won't know folklore because it's just really obscure. I mean, either either is possible. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Because it's a puzzle. With all our eyes on the Nue, something that looked sort of like smoke began to spill out of its mouth. Purple smoke. What? What the heck is this? His voice was slightly muffled by the handkerchief he'd suddenly pressed over his mouth and nose. The rest of us all had clasped whatever we had to our own faces. It's interesting they've taken the time to have the voice actors, like, have their voices muffled. But not to draw the characters holding things, oh, whatever. Like, it's weird, it's like, in one respect, it's good attention to detail, and then in another respect, is not. Oh well, whatever. Roll with punches. By now the stuff pouring out of its mouth was purple. Clearly it wasn't ordinary smoke. Smoke would have risen up, but this was slowly spreading out over the floor. Ayumu frowned and rubbed a hand across his rough beard. The thing about Shido is even if he is kind of sexist, he still, he knows what's going on. He's on a level. He, he gets this. He also, his hair is it's, it's weird. Not as weird as Wakasa. Okay, yeah, Wakasa. Okay. Look. Let's just calm down. We've still got plenty of time before the gas, um... We've got plenty of time! Take a chew pill, man. Rake your cheese. Why? Because if we're not, we're gonna die, so stay calm, Wakasa. Wakasa, no! He shot across the room to the door we'd come in through and began to furiously twist the handle. It's locked! Hey guys, I know he's sexist, but... That doesn't mean that everything he has to say is invalid, is not valid. <laughs> He'd gone into a state of total panic, frantically pulling on a door that clearly wasn't going to open. Oh, I cut him off again. Wait! I gestured desperately to Mitarashi to calm down and walked as slowly and carefully as I could over to Wakasa. Hey Wakasa, listen to me! We didn't have any time to waste, but I couldn't just leave him in a panic either. You have to calm down. We can get out of here, we just have to solve the puzzle. Yes, let's solve the puzzle already. When had he... As I was wondering how he'd moved so quietly, Chido reached out to take hold of Wakasa's arm. <laughs> Arabe spoke up. Look, 
I saw his hand loosen and slide off the doorknob. Tito was awfully reassuring. Then again, he was a police officer, and of all the people there, he seemed the most reliable. When he said things would be all right, you believed him. Andorabe made a good point, too. Slowly and carefully, we made our way back to the statue. The image of them, like, wading through a purple mist. It's interesting. The thing that voice said earlier sounded like a hint. Do any of you know what it might mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, it cut him off again. Yeah, you're in destiny, aren't you, Arabe? Yeah, we don't have a lot of time, so why don't we split up? Wait, we're in one room, though. Um, let me think. How do we want to split up? Oh, we finally are Okay, guys, this is a video game. I was beginning to be unsure. Um... Hmm... Um... I do think Miyoshi's kinda cool, even with his weird belts, but I'm gonna go with these guys. Myself, Shirabe, Itarashi, and Arabe will check out the statue. Also, what happens if I press this? No! Okay, that was close. I was just wondering. I really didn't want to get too close to a weird poison-spewing statue, but it didn't look like I had a choice. しかし、見れば見るほど気持ち悪いぞだぜ。伝説の生き物だっつってたか。ヌエってのは平家物語、原平聖水記の国登場さ。諸説あるが、頭が猿、銅が狸、手足は虎。Oh, I see. It's like a chimera. Hirabe tapped his forehead with a finger as he spoke. Dude, dude, he's like a... He's like a... York. Francis York Morgan. He's Kyoko Sakura and Francis York Morgan. And he's... Oh, man. Dude. Anyway. You seem to know a lot about this stuff. Oh, is he a supernatural reporter? Oh, kill us. Right. We examined every inch of the statue, taking care to avoid the poison. And why aren't we commenting on all oh, yet? On the panel next to it with the glowing figure on it that whatever. Oh. No, sir. It looks like there's a button here. I pointed to the base of the snake tail. <laughs> okay, we have a series of buttons, and one of them just happens to be on the anus, that's fine. All in all, there were five buttons. One each on the head, neck, legs, stomach, and tail. Oh, I guess it really was on tail. Sorry, I was just being crude. Oh my god, guys. But you're gonna think so lowly of my so lowly of me now, I'm sorry. Push him! That's actually what I would have said in real life, or closer to that. Mitarashi grumbled and turned pointedly back to looking at the buttons. I wonder if pushing one of those will stop the gas. Yes, but it also might make it come out faster. Sure thing, bro. We gotta trust each other, even though we're all complete weirdos. We met up again and began to exchange information. Alright, let's go over everything. 
The panels are the seven adventurers from Samurai Fantasy VII. Oh, I see. The other guys were looking at that. Gosh, dang. I should have been with them. I heard some neat stuff. The only one that is lit is the monk. The five buttons on the new way are on the head, neck, leg, stomach, and tail. That's everything, right? Oh, man, this is a wealth of information to work with. Everyone nodded. Well, it must be something from the game, right? This is tough. What does awaken to your destiny mean? It sounds good. That, that's all I know. As we thought, the soft hiss of gas filled the silence. We have to do something, and soon, or... I glanced down at the time. An hour had already passed. I could see everyone else was feeling the pressure, too. All around the room were twitchy feet and bit lips. Uh, wait, stop! I tried to grab him, but he just shook me off. Ito dashed forward to try and stop him, but Mitarashi hit the button on the statue's leg before he could. Everyone froze. Huh? A bright chime echoed through the room as the light on the monk panel clicked off and the mage panel lit up. Oh, cut you off. Sorry. You know, if you look closely at his eyes, it almost looks like they're like slits. It's creepy. Ah! Before anyone else could stop him, Mitarashi smacked the button on the Nue's stomach. Well, I think it's safe to assume it's going to change the panels. He grabbed the other man by the collar and shook him. No, stop! I tried to shove them apart, but as I did... Oh, it was coming out faster. Mitarashi and Shido leapt away from the statue, and I could see that gas was indeed pouring out of its mouth much faster now. Ah, oh, jeez. Hope you're happy, Mitarashi. But he's not. There's no satisfaction here. But Mitarashi seems to be Well said. Miyoshi quietly raised his hand. Did you notice something? What do you remember then? Ah, uh, I knew this guy would be our salvation. ただ、弓矢で攻撃するためには一定の手順が必要。まず、格闘家の必殺技を足にぶち込む。そして、ヌエの足を止め、次に術師が尻尾の蛇を眠らせて攻撃向こう側の魔法を遮断する。最後によう
Monk, Mage, Hunter. There's a panel for each one on here, right? そうか。それで最初に格闘家のカードが点灯してたんだ。で、たまたま見たらしさんが足の well, we figured this one out with basically no input from me, the player. Good, great design. Hmm, which button are we supposed to press next? Oh. Um. Well, um. 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 Well, I'm just being like, Ugh, they should have been trying me more, and now this happens. Well, let's see, the monk... Now we had to start off by attacking the legs. Oh, the belly. Yeah. Well, don't ask me, I don't know about this game either. I was wrong. It's the tail. Next time. Next time I'm not gonna screw up. No more screw ups. When Arabe pushed the button on the statue's tail, a small chime sounded. When the mage panel turned off, the hunter panel had lit up. It's on the hunter now! You were right, Miyoshi! Now, Akasa's face is no longer hilarious. He let out a long, shaky sigh of relief. Yeah, we've only got one button left, but which one? Miyoshi had said the hunter attacked last, but he hadn't said where. Well, we've already attacked the leg and the tail, so that leaves us with three options. Didn't take long for the others to come to the same conclusion, of course. Miyoshi shook his head slowly. So our lives are depending on like minor video game trivia? This is not a good situation. Huh? Don't be too hard on him. Who's going to remember every single little detail of a big game like that? This is bad. Miyoshi couldn't remember, though. There wasn't a whole lot we could do. Then suddenly, Shirabe spoke up. Yumi no Yumi? Yumi? Mate, mate yo. He was mumbling to himself and tapping his forehead with his fingers. Once again, he's like Francis Stuart Morgan. God rest, may he rest in peace. Is this some sort of nervous habit? He was doing it before, too. ゲームの元ネタはおそらくこれだ。he is a supernatural journalist. Wow, Shirabe sure knows a lot of stuff. It's just like me. Really, I do know a lot of stuff. Um, for example. Um. 
Illumin the Lawmaker is one of the most famous monarchs of the Ottoman dynasty. The Ottoman Empire, I mean. Oh, yeah, dynasty. As he spoke, Arabe leaned over and pressed the button. One puzzle down, I thought. But... Oh, snap. jeez. Oh, the gas was also coming out of the Nui's mouth much faster than before. None of us had the answer. It should have worked, based on our, you know, little information we have. Cheeto is right, so what happened? Something's off. I couldn't shake the feeling that we'd missed some important part of the puzzle. I ran the announcement we'd heard earlier over and over in my head. What am I missing from that announcement? What? What? The explosive insight system helps you solve problems with the power of your mind. <laughs> okay. Pick the words and phrases that stand out by setting bombs on up to three of them? Well, okay. Also, I just noticed she's like a cowlick. Like, like Saki's haircut is like a bomb. Neat. If one of your choices was the right one, then a flash of inspiration will bring you to the solution of your conundrum. Let's see. I think the announcement said, Awaken to your destiny and slay the demon Nue. Fail to slay the Nue and die by its poison. Everything after fail to slay is pretty straightforward, so we should decide on Awaken to your destiny. We split up, we split up and examined the statue and the panels. Well, obviously this is important. To slay the new way we figured we figured out we would need to follow specific steps. We got the monk and the mage right, which left us with the hunter. Attack the neck. Die by its poison. So what is it that we haven't figured out yet? Well, awaken your destiny, obviously. Awaken to your destiny and sa fail to slay. Yeah, that's pretty clear. We didn't, like, well, maybe slay. I mean, I guess we slay it by, like, attacking the points by hitting the buttons, but... I say die by its poison is not something we need to worry about right now. Well, I mean, it is, but, like, not, not like, that we don't understand. Although maybe what we're not... Maybe our mistake is that we're not paying attention to the seemingly straightforward fail to slay the new way and die by its poison part. Maybe there is some sort of additional meaning there. Could be. Maybe, wait, maybe we actually need to, like, actually attack its neck? Ah, oh, jeez, what do we do? This is some hardcore music. This is my best... I'm trying... I'm, I'm, I'm grasping at straws here. Insight incited! Dude. Dude. We still haven't figured out what Awaken Your Destiny is supposed to mean! Could that be the hint we need? So I know I was saying some negative stuff. I take it all back now. This is cool. I think this is it. We're finally gonna beat this puzzle. あのさ、実は一つ思いついたことがあるんだけど。なんだ、若さとは言って。元のゲーム、武士道ファンタジー7ってさ、7人のパーティーになるって言ってたよね。ああ。だからカードも7枚あるんだよね。今ここにいるの
衝動七人なんだけど何か関係ないかな Dude, Wakasa isn't just whiny and unhelpful. So, Bokra no Stin no Elabarasimo, you shut at the Wardobu no Yatsga Tita. Moscas and a Konokado, Bokta Tihitori Hitori or Saste no Kamasenai. We have to do our part. Narodo, Onoga Shukume in Mesame. Tsumariwa. それぞれのパネルに対応した人物を見つけ出すということか。Well, um, Himemaro, he is the mage, I think. That has to be it. So if me, so if Mitarashi and Arabe pushed the buttons earlier, then they have to be the monk and the mage, right? Haha, なるほどな。しっかしよ。なんで俺が買ったのかで。そいつが呪術師なんだよ。How is Kimimaro not? Huh? Image? Huh? 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 Is it because he hunts for criminals? He grinned, making a gun with his hand and pretended to fire it. Oh, well, if that's the case. <laughs> what? Don't joke now, dude. Before anyone could stop him, Shido reached over and pressed the button on the neck. Everyone gasped. Ah! A flow of gas from the Nue's mouth suddenly stopped. It slid slowly to the side, revealing a staircase leading to a lower floor. As it did, a chime sounded and the hunter panel turned green. He was right. I could see the thick fog quickly vanishing into vents on the walls. Looks like we've beaten the first part of this game. I let out a sigh of relief. Took only a few moments for all the gas to disappear. I felt the entire room relax. All those like tense like shoulder muscles are all all your their shoulders are going. They were so tense I didn't even like consciously realize that their shoulders were so tense they're going down, so everyone that is, except for Shido. He was busy frowning at the Nue. Is something wrong? Oh you're right, we're just beginning. <sighs> Yeah. It's a point. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a good thing. Oh, that's a good thing. We'll have to be like the adventurers in the game and work together. They all nodded. Just then, a short tune played over the room's speakers, followed by an announcement. I should have known the fanfare was actually like in an in story event. Before we had time to ponder what it meant, the base of the statue popped open. Well, wait, wait, isn't survival already a reward? Dude! Dude! I ran up to it and looked inside to find a chest that looked exactly like the one you might find in a video game. I'm gonna open it up. It's gonna be like green light and Link is gonna like dunk down into it. He's gonna take out a bottle. But probably not. After all, this is like a Final Fantasy thing, not a Zelda thing. He pulled it out of the chest and showed us. This looks like a map of this attraction. 
See, here's the room we're in. At all? This isn't a very long dungeon, but it is just the first one. I turned to see him glancing down over my shoulder at the map. There were indeed two more rooms. The Corridor of Hate and the Room of the Supreme Ruler. We're never gonna make it. That's probably a better attitude to take. I tell you, Ayumu really he's I like him. He, I like him. He seems he seems he seems cool, even though he's that weird scar. Right. Dude Oh my can he's a taking the attitude we all probably would take in real life. We headed down the stairs toward the corridor of hate. This br sounds brutal. It's gonna be brutal. Dude, this is brutal. When we reached the bottom of the stairs, we found ourselves in a long stone hallway. It was dark and gloomy, but there were torches mounted along the walls, casting enough light to see by. <laughs> And why I say that? Just because all the mysterious lights flashing on the walls are all of the demon heads on the walls? What, what are you talking about? He was right. The darkness would have been bad enough, but there were also a bunch of what looked like demon heads on the walls. I moved a little closer under the heads and noticed a set of panels. These are just like the ones we saw a bit ago. The bard? Oh, Wakasa well, will be the bard, won't he? He'll be the Edward. What is his name? Gilbert. I think it's Edward. Itarashi pushed forward toward the panel. I knew it. Ah! Something flew out of the left-hand wall at an incredible speed. Itarashi only barely managed to jump out of the way in time. Sure enough, there was now an arrow embedded in the opposite wall. Well said. Crossbow quarrel! Sounds like a Mario Party minigame. I tell you, Mitarashi and Shido, their personalities are just clashing. He frowned and grumbled at Shido under his breath, but I could see beads of sweat on his forehead. I see him on his cheek. That must have been scary, even if he won't admit it. If nothing else, the arrow sticking out of the wall was now a powerful reminder that we needed to be careful. <laughs> Shirabe's shoulders slumped in exhaustion as he finished, and Okasa looked too shocked to speak. Yeah, we're gonna need Wakasa to play some magic music. Then the voice was quiet. He wants, oh, Hogstein wants us to die. I don't think he really cares about it being fair. It was true that if the announcement had come on earlier, he wouldn't have been in danger, but if he hadn't been in such a hurry in the first place. It was his fault. Shirabe scratched at his beard and worked the candy around in his mouth. By now, he must have put in a second one off screen or something, because otherwise it's going to get kind of soggy. That's just gross. Ayakashi 
ずうてもあやかしってのはこの壁にかかった気味の悪いこいつのことしかねえしよし何にしてもまずは情報を集めることからだそれこそが真実にたどり着く第一歩だからな Jirabe edged toward the nearest head. Very, very carefully he began to examine it. You see anything? There's like a laser pointer on its forehead, and that's how the mechanism detects motion, isn't it? Ah. Koitz no miken ni chisa na hikari ga tomotteru. Osora ka kore ga sensa ni natteru naro. I tell you. Shirabe is just on it. But. Honto da. Sensor みたいなものがある。その証拠にこうして。Ah! I jumped as he waved his hand in front of the demon's nose, but no arrow came out. 大丈夫だ。やはりセンサーに触れなければ矢は飛び出してこない仕掛けのようだ。You scared me. Gotta say, if he got an arrow shot through his hand, that'd be pretty brutal. Brutal. He sighed and told everyone to step back. He waved his hand over the demon's face again, this time in front of the censor. Aye! Just like before, an arrow shot out of the demon's mouth with blinding speed. Oh, I tell you, the things you gotta put up with when you're Keiji Inafune's niece. Is your hand all right? しかしよう会の顔は左右に無数にある上にどれもバラバラの位置についていたそのようですねそう、so let's uh, talk about the whole bard thing already come on guys we all sighed there's no way we can just run past them or something that means there's got to be a way we can yeah play music or something I was still mulling it over in my head when Wakasa suddenly spoke up. What is it? It's just what a man would say if he did notice something important. Itarashi rolled his eyes. He started to move toward Wakasa. Hmm, I do want to know what he noticed. What should I do? Well, it looks like these are both going to result in the same things. I mean, I don't really... Guys, we should probably... I don't know. I do think Wakasa knows something. But I don't really know that we should have Mitarashi go after him, you know? No, I'm gonna... Wakasa might know something. Mitarashi is being way too pushy, but we do need all the information we can get. You need to tell us what you noticed. It might be the hint we need to figure out all this. What? Well, what was that? Did he just give me like an like an item? Well, at least I'd gotten him to talk. Well, yeah, probably like the mechanism, like a bow stretching out to launch the arrow, right? Stretching? Akasa was still mumbling and thinking to himself. When Shido suddenly raised his head, Doesn't sound like it's a very good song if it's just a stretching noise, though. Can you still hear it? He shook his head and frowned. Can hear the cosmos. Well, 
このままここで黙っているわけにもいきませんしもう一度試してみませんかよしそれじゃあもう一度だおい若さ音がしたら手を上げてやんだら手を下ろせ分かったけど僕でいいわけその音を聞き分けることができるのはお前だけかもしれないからな頼む分かったよ Good I'll trigger the sensor お前は大丈夫かよ I just watched Shirabe do it As long as I'm careful I'll be fine You know, it just occurred to me, she really sticks out not, because my voice is not very appropriate for like a young girl. And also, I'm not speaking Japanese. This is just really all kinds of awkward. I stepped up to the demon's face, glanced nervously around, and then waved my hand over the sensor. Just like before, an arrow shot out and embedded itself in the wall. His hand shot up. Then, before I could even react, Shido stepped in front of me and waved his hand in front of the sensor. What had he done that for? I was still wondering when Wakasa lowered his hand. What was that? Oh, yeah, you're right. なるほど。あなたの行動の意図がわかりました。若さが気づいた音ってのはつまり次の矢の想定音だったってわけだああ時間にして約5秒ほどだ So we need to just have a wall go ahead of the corridor 5 seconds ahead of us and I'll stay perfectly 5 seconds behind the wall that's moving along the corridor triggering all the traps and we're gonna go in front of the trap it's not, it's not gonna work what I'm saying it's not gonna work So for about five seconds, right after an arrow is fired, the trap can't fire because it's reloading. Finally, we'd figured out one part of the announcement. Give ear to the song of the demons. I couldn't hear anything, though. You must have really good ears. Sate, Hitomazu kono yokai no kao no karakuri wa likai shita. Tsugi wa... Tsugi wa... Gagakushi ni onaji koto wo mou ichido yatte morau beki da ro. They were right. The bard panel was lit up. But who's the bard? Wait, I don't think it was Wakasa who just spoke. I thought it was me. Whatever. See? I called it. I figured this out all so long ago already. Yeah, entertainment's entertainment, however much money you have. Why are we assuming that these were all designed with this group in particular in mind? He glanced at me and swallowed. For a moment, I was worried he was going to say he was too scared to do it. Maybe now that I've done it, he's too embarrassed to say he was too scared to do something a girl could. Akasa said nothing, just turned back around and slowly approached the demon head. He waved his hand in front of the censor. What? Oh, look, the bard panel turned off. どうやら画学士は若ささんで間違いなかったようですねそして今度はニンジャのカードが光ったそして今度はニンジャのカードが光った Who'd be the ninja? Be a Yumu? ふんニンジャねひとまずセンサーに手をかざしてから5秒の間は安全だと分かったがしかしたった5秒の間に左右のランダムな位置にあるセンサーに One slip up and they'd be toast. Yeah, that's true. It's a good way to put it. Everyone was silent. And it, finally, Arabe spoke. 
とまずあのカードの忍者ってのが誰に当たるのかだが残ってるのは俺とゲーマーの兄ちゃんとお嬢ちゃんの3人か Actually, I take it back. Ayumu is not the ninja. まあ普通に考えれば Yeah, see? See? Same line of reasoning. I mean, Miyoshi is very quiet, so you know, it makes sense. His mouth tightened slightly, but he began to walk towards the demon heads. Miyoshi? Oh god, I'm terrible at rhythm games. What? Uh, hold on a second! Let's not rush into anything! I'll be fine, we're too early in the game for someone to die. Miyoshi stopped, his brow is knit. What are we gonna do now? Yeah, I mean, I think so too. Yeah, second one makes sense. Of course, you don't, you meathead. We all shook our heads in silence. What should we do? <laughs> it's like we should think about it. I just let just let Miyoshi just run in there. So why not? Let's just, just who cares about that guy? Just let him go. So I'm be like, ah, guys, yeah, just Miyoshi. No, we're gonna think about it some more because thinking is very exciting. Very exciting. I really think we should give this a little more thought first. And hopefully that is enough to give you some thoughts about Sweet Fuse on your side. Certainly is an odd combination of elements. A dating game, but instead of romance, there's a terrorist plot and lots of wacky characters, and for some reason, Keiji Inafune is involved. Sweet Fuse does have a lot of charm, but I feel that there are better uses of my time than this one. Simply doesn't hold my attention enough. Maybe you think it's perfect, though. Links are in the description for anyone interested in purchasing Sweet Fuse and seeing what happens next. And I'm sure there are some other places you could find it. Who is the evil Count Hogstein? Can Saki save the park? And who's the guy of your dreams? Well, you can buy it yourself and find out. You know, if you want. And as for guy of my dreams, I mean, you know, I, I incline towards Shirabe-san myself, but he seems a bit old for Saki. This is mackerel phones, everybody.